seriously, that song, man. That's from uh, Wuthering Heights, everyone. Also regarded as the best book in existence ever. Yes, everyone thinks that. There's like, I mean, everyone says it's bad, but then they read it and they go, my god, the twist, the turns. That was incredible. And then everyone loves it. There is literally not one exce exception on this planet. You want a synopsis? Alright, guys. Okay, so, it starts off, there's this guy, Lockwood, and, uh, he goes to, uh, Wuthering Heights, because he, uh, he moved in next door, at, um, uh, Thrush Vagina R Lane, and, um, he's like, Hello there, Mr. Heathcliff, I'm your new tenant. <laughs> Mind if I stay the night? And Heathcliff's like, nah, nah, nah. And, uh, so Lockwood goes to bed, and then, uh, Kathy's like, Heathcliff, I'm fucking cold, let me in. But it's not Heathcliff, it's Lockwood, and he's only mildly shocked, because he's posh in English. He's like, oh my, I'm mildly shocked. I'll be taking my leave of this crazy place right now. Lol, 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 lol. And then he runs off, and Heathcliff's like, Rrr. And then he uh, gets to his new house, and uh, he gets ill, and then... Uh, his uh, maid walks in, and her name's Nelly. And he's like, Nelly, what's up, sister? Why don't you tell me the history of Wuthering Heights and Heathcliff? He seems like a bit of a twat. And then Nelly's like, okay, I'm totally not a whiny little gossipy bitch, but I'm going to tell you all the juicy details. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was a cold, windy house called Heathcliffville. I mean, uh, Wuthering Heights. All right. And then there's this family there, and, uh, I can't remember what they're called. The, oh, the Earnshaws, right? And one day, Mr. Earnshaw brings home for his two kids, who are both little shits. He's like, look what I brought you. I brought you two presents. I also brought you a scruffy little orphan gypsy. But he ate both your presents. And then, uh, they're like, oh my god. I hate that scruffy orphan gypsy twat. But then, uh, the girl starts liking the scruffy little orphan gypsy twat. And they call him Heathcliff, because he looks like Cliff Richards. That is exactly why they call him Heathcliff. Okay. So, you know, and because, um, because, uh, Kathy, the girl, likes the orphan called Heathcliff, her brother, um, called, her brother called, what's Kathy's brother called? Jimmy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not Jimmy, but we'll say it's Jimmy. So Jimmy Earnshaw gets all pissed off, right? And then, um, and he's like, my God, Kathy, why do you like him? You're such a douche. But he, um, and Jimmy Earnshaw bullies him all the time, because he's an ass. And Heathcliff's like, why do you bully me so? Is it because your parents don't love you and your father loves me more? La, 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 All right, and then, uh, Jimmy's like, the shit, man, the shit. And, uh, then some time passes, you know, they get slightly older. Um, Catherine and... Heathcliff are still little gits, right? And then, uh... They, they go to Thrushcross Grange, and they see these two other kids at Thrushcross Grange. And it's, uh, Edgar Linton and Isabella Linton. They're, they're the family that live at Thrushcross Grange. And they're of a similar age, but they're even bigger little shits, okay? And they're also into, into Wincest. So, um... So, you know, they're all whiny and stuff because they can never get what they want. You know, like a Dudley Weasley thing. Yeah, this uh, this Wuthering Heights book really rips off Harry Potter. I noticed that several times throughout the course of the book. So, um... And then, uh... Oh, shit, what happens then? And then... Oh, what happens then? I can't remember. It's probably important. Oh, yeah, so they go back to her... Wuthering Heights, but Kathy can't go back because uh, she got eaten. By, she got eaten by a dog <laughs> at Thrushcross Grange. So they got her to be sicked up by the dog, which was called Cujo, but that's not important. So um, she had to stay at Thrushcross Grange. So Heathcliff came back on his own, and Nelly was like, "What the shit, dude? What the shit? Where's Kathy? Where's the lady Kathy? Kathy, why would you come back on your own, you orphan gypsy twat?" And then. Heathcliff's like, don't worry, um, that 
Linton Earnshaw fellow is such a tosser, she'll never like him. But then, um, she comes back, and you'll never guess what happens. Oh, how do I make wood, you guys? Yeah, that she comes back, and you'll never guess what happens. Turns out, she's all ladylike now, and Heathcliff's like, WTF? WTF? What are you doing being all ladylike like that? And she's like, Oh, Heathcliff, you silly bugger. But pretty soon, they make up. But from then on, she's sort of friends with Edgar Linton because she's reached that age when she starts to notice boys she likes, if you know what I mean. Oh, God, cow. No, no, no. There's no room at this inn. Go away. So, you know. And, um, Heathcliff's pretty pissed because he secretly likes Catherine. And he's all like, Oh, oh, no. I'm so angry at the world and no one likes me. And at some point, Catherine and um, Jimmy's dad dies, so uh, Jimmy takes over the household and he treats Heathcliff's like like shit. And uh, you know, so Heathcliff's like at the end of his tether, and he's like, "I swear to God, one more thing goes wrong, and I am G quitting. I am G quitting. I'm pissing off, and I'm joining the circus, right?" So um, so so at one one night, Catherine's talking to a. Uh, Jim, uh, no, Nelly, you know, Nelly, yeah, and, uh, and, and Catherine's like, oh, Nelly, I told Edgar I'd marry him, was that wrong, what about Heathcliff, and Nelly's like, what, who gives a shit, I don't care about you, you're a bitch, and you never talk to me, and you always act like a little snotty cow, go away, and so, um, and then Catherine says, whatever, Heathcliff's a twat, I never liked him, but Heathcliff heard, and then he leaves, and he joins the circus, right, um, and then, then, uh, after, and then years later, he comes back and Catherine is married to Edgar, and by then he's a strong boy, he's a real man by then, and he's like, the sh and he gets back and he's like, hello, and she's like, who, who are you, and then he's like, do you not recognize me, Catherine, his voice is now tripled in epic, alright, and she's like, no, it can't possibly be. And then Edgar comes out the door and he's like, no, it can't possibly be. Because Ed Edgar is like a omega fag, right? Seriously, he is the girliest girl. And he's like, yes, it is I, Heathcliff. Only now I'm epic. He literally says, only now I'm epic. Right? That's a direct quote from Heathcliff. The, you know, the journals of. Okay. So, and then he goes, I'm moving back into Wuthering Heights. And, you know, because Catherine lives in Thrushcross Grange with her, um, Edgar now. And she's saying to herself, she's like, what? Why would you move back to, uh, Wuthering Heights? My brother Jimmy lives there, and he hates you. And then Heathcliff goes, don't worry, I got him pissed last, last night, and he totally agreed to it. Ha, 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 silly faggot. No, ha, no, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then, and then Catherine's like, ha, 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 nee, hoo, hoo, hoo. and Edgar's like, hmm, what's going on? Are you two flirting? You better not be flirting because you're ma because you're totally married to me, all right? And then, um, so Heathcliff goes back, and you know he's just he's at Wuthering Heights for a while, and he's trying to plot his revenge against everyone because everyone was acting as a douche to him before he left to join the circus, okay? So he comes up with this evil scheme for revenge, and uh, I can't remember what it is. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So what he does is he marries Edgar's sister. You remember Isabella? Yeah, he marries her just out of spite. He marries her, he takes her away, he sticks his penis in, but just the tip, right? And then he, he comes straight away because, you know, she's dirty and he was thinking about Catherine, right? And then uh, she has a baby, like, it, ju it just instantly falls out, right? And, um, and then uh, he hangs her upside down and throws her off a cliff in a bag, okay? And, uh, <laughs> just the tip, just the tip. <laughs> and then he takes his baby back and he raises the baby, okay? To, like, you know, take over all of the Pride Lands. And, um... And once the baby gets a bit older, he's, he introduces it to Catherine and Edgar's baby, uh, child even, which is now grown up. They also call, called it Cathy, just to confuse you. So, Cathy and Heathcliff Jr. are talking to each other, and they're all like, <laughs> Sup, alright? And then Heathcliff forces them to get married, and then um, 
he does that so that when Edgar dies, he'll get all of the estates, and then Edgar dies, uh, but only after Catherine. Catherine dies first, and then Edgar dies, and Heathcliff gets all of the esca all of the estate, and then that's when the story picks up when Lockwood gets there, and when the story finishes, Lockwood's like, "Oh hell no!" Right? So he walks up to the nearest wall. He grabs a sawn-off shotgun and he marches to Wuthering Heights. And Nellie's like, no, no, you're kidding me. You wouldn't dare, Sir Lockwood. And he's like, get off me, my good woman. I'm ridding the world of this man. And he kicks the door open. And then Heathcliff's there going, am I in there? And then Lockwood goes, die, monster. You don't belong in this world. And then he fires his um, uh, sawn-off shotgun. But the bullets bounce off Heathcliff. And Heathcliff's like, no, I'm making a fun there. Right? Um, so then he jumps at him at like incredible speeds and he pulls out his assassin's dagger and he sinks it deep into Heathcliff's neck and only then does Heathcliff die and as his eyes close and roll into the back of his head the last thing he hears Resquietat in pace and then it just fades to black and uh, that's Wuthering, Heights. Wuthering Heights yep